Lifting the lid on this easy to make Costco rotisserie chicken spinoff dish, right? Your Costco rotisserie chicken. Okay, so let me show you what's going on here. So hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified of more videos like this one and you like what you're seeing, you want to see more of it. Okay, so what I did was I took three whole potatoes, right? And then cut them up into about half inch thick pieces. So little rounds, right? Yellow potatoes, russet potatoes makes no difference here. I've used yellow. Then I've got three celery stalks that I cut into about, eh, I'd say like quarter of an inch pieces, right? Cut those up. Then I've got three carrots that I cut up into about quarter inch pieces. Then I've got the Costco rotisserie chicken, which I spatchcocked, meaning I pulled out the backbone, right? And then cut the breastbone out with my handy dandy what are these mitsumoto sakari shears poultry shears i'll put a link in the comment section and in the description if you want to see where and how to get those best shears i could find like grandma's old shears okay then i've got two onions this is what i had in my fridge i had one red onion and i had one white or yellow onion i cut those into about quarter inch slices and then as you see laid them out down there i sprayed some olive oil, about two tablespoons of olive oil at the bottom of the pan. This is a non-stick, good hearty, like roasting pan dish or whatever. So oil goes down first, onions go second. What I'm gonna do is celery's gonna go next, then the carrots. Then I'm boiling my potatoes for five minutes. So when they hit the five minute mark, I'm gonna shut off the gas, drain off the water, and then lay my potatoes on top of this stuff. And then I'm basically going to flip the chicken, the rotisserie chicken that I got at Costco, flip it back over so it's breast side up, throw it in a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes or so, and voila, dinner. So easy recipes that you can make without having to cook the entire chicken the whole way. This is just finishing it off. And basically all those nice little drippings from the chicken are going to seep down into the potatoes and into the carrots and into the celery and into the onions and just basically finish it all off. I'll be back with another video showing you what it all looks like when it's all cooked and said and done. Stay tuned for that. Remember, hit that like bell, hit the subscription, wherever that is down there. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when videos like this come out. There are links in the description and also in the comment section for these Mitsumoto Sakari... Mitsumoto Sakari! Poultry shears, I say that lovingly, and I'll put some other kitchen utensil things like this also good grips thing. I'll put that all that in the description there down below. Anyway, stay tuned for the next video, and uh, we'll see you soon with dinner.